So it's called Rotala Indica. I'm getting some hornwort home here. Really cool video for you today. It was a spur of the moment video. We were out, I had to go to the fish store. I needed some AutoCats for the 55. They didn't have any AutoCats. No one can find any AutoCats. Remember that, that I just said that for something at the end of this video. But long story short, grabbed some Siamese algae eaters because I needed something. And I have a very, very special cool little purchase that I got here that I'm gonna acclimate right now. That is a baby silver arowana. And I am, I know I always say I'm excited, but I am so excited. So Tay has wanted one forever. I have wanted one forever. We finally were able to get one. He was by himself. It was the only one they had. So I had to pick him up. He is going to go with our, uh, our barracuda over here. They're about the same size. I think the barracuda is a little bit bigger, but they'll be fine. We're gonna watch him now. He's only going in there for a little bit. We are actually going to set up our huge brand new 50 that we have sitting over in the mess over there. It really is new even though everything else is a mess. I'm gonna set him up in there just while he starts to grow and then eventually he will join the rest of the monsters. A um, Couple of other things I picked up there that I thought was really cool. So we got a whole bag of plants. Gotta get those in. That's not what was cool. I got some food. I needed to get some frozen food for everybody, the blood worms. And look what I got. I snagged these. These are silver, what are these? Oh, silver sides. So I figured I wanna start trying to feed our monsters, the huge catfish and uh, camo and all of them some, uh, some bigger bait. So I got these. If anyone has ever tried these, let me know. I wanna know how they work. I'm gonna put them in the freezer upstairs, but thought that was pretty cool. And I also have my Siamese algae eaters in my half mailbox and the bag kept tipping over. So I'm excited, those are pretty big. But those will do well in here. I'm gonna acclimate them in a separate tank because the water temperature is a little bit different from where they are. Look at, they're in your Happy Meal box, George. You gotta leave them in there for right now. So make sure you guys stay tuned till the end because after we get these guys all situated, I am gonna talk about the AutoCats. Really cool, we're gonna start a new little venture with AutoCats. You don't wanna miss it. As always guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, share this around. Let's get these guys acclimated. I got my Siamese algae eaters here. They have been acclimating inside the bag. They are good to go. And I am putting them in. There should be four. Um, these guys are pretty good size, but they will work well in here. Just again, I would have rathered auto caps, like a hundred of them, couldn't get them. So I got these guys. They were super active in the store on the glass. And that is exactly what I need right now. They look like huge auto cats. What do you think, Greg? Really cool, there's one there. Where are the other ones? There's another one sitting right there. There was a couple on the plants already. So these guys should help. Oh, there's one, look at, he's doing work. Uh, next, I just need them to get on this glass, but this tank's really coming together. So a couple of the plants I got, really cool. I got this Anubius that is already attached to lava rock. So you can literally just place it anywhere. So I put one here and one there. And then the other plants, which I'm just gonna get in in a minute off camera, I just have some really tall jungle veil, which I love. And I'm gonna put uh, a couple pieces here and then one over there. I love that stuff in the backdrop. But um, ever since I finally got this tank fixed after stupidly putting salt in and killing most of it, uh, I got a new, awesome new light. Oh, I don't think you guys saw that, but I got an awesome new light up here. Everything is really growing. You can see, look at this. Look at that, that is awesome. My Sylvania is growing like crazy. Uh, plants are starting to come back and not die so much. So I finally got some new plants. So that's what we're doing in here. They're good, but main story, main story. Look at him. I cannot wait. So the arowana is gonna go in here with the barracuda. They should be fine. They're about the, almost the same size. The barracuda is a little bit bigger, but they should be fine. Unfortunately, I know right now we're not gonna get great shots of him because it is just overhead that you can see, but I will make sure to put the camera underwater so you can at least see him in there. So without further ado, let's get this guy in his new tank. All right, he is in. Let's put him in his new home here. Let him go. Let's see if I can get some good footage. Barracuda's over there. He's going over to investigate. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, He's up there. Uh -huh. Super cool fish, guys. I love this. I am so excited. The All right, the gar sees him. The barracuda, the jetta gar, whatever you want to call him. He sees him. Let me make sure. So we'll monitor, make sure they leave each other alone. I love both these guys. I want them to grow out for a while. Um, 
Never. Don't be stalking him. Leave him be. He's just getting used to his new tank. But really cool, guys. Hey, let me let but. me know how many of you out there have arowanas, what kinds, how big they are. Um, I really can't wait to start feeding this guy. But arowana is slow, but the barracuda is big. Say that again. The barracuda is big. The barracuda is big, but the arowana is little. That's very true. Words of wisdom by Gray. That is super cool seeing them together though, like that. Like I said, hopefully he leaves him alone. He is a little bit bigger than him, but. For any of you out there that have arowanas, let me know what you guys feed them. I know they can eat an assortment of stuff and we have plenty. I just wanna know what you guys have fed them, um, especially when they're smaller that like this. He's probably only about three, maybe four inches right now. It said baby, but let me know what you guys fed him at this stage because I wanna make sure I'm, I'm kind of doing things right. Look at these guys behind me, where are they? Yeah, back there. Love these two. They are super cool. They love this tank, they're doing great. Uh, but I want to get to the AutoCAD thing that I mentioned before. So real quick, I'm going to put the rest of the plants in the 55 over there. Once I get that in, I'm going to tell you this because it's really cool. So I had to show you. I put some Jungleville in, but I really like this. It's called Rotala Indica or Rota Rotala Indica. I'm sure many of you have used it before. It's got some really cool pink on the ends, but I wanted to show you because I put it in and all as soon as I planted it, all the cribbences came over and are eating off of it. I don't know if they're eating the leaves or eating stuff off of it, but... I'm gonna monitor that because I feel like I'm gonna come down tomorrow and it's gonna be completely gone. So I don't know if that's gonna work, but look, I got my jungle veil over there. I love that stuff and I love when it starts to grow. That is really cool. So really coming together. One of my favorite tanks. We're gonna get underwater footage of the arowana. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go swimming with the food. Really cool footage underwater in there. Uh, stay tuned, I'm obviously gonna get some more of that. And next time what we'll do is we'll get some underwater footage of them actually eating the bloodworms. So we are outside and I have Grayson right here sticking his hands in, getting some hornwort. Yeah. Thank you. We're gonna bring the hornwort in and put that in with the barracuda and um, the arowana. They seem to like that and enjoy it. Um, Thank you, that is awesome. So quick little story about this stock tank. We just set this up the other day, just kind of spur of the moment. We went down, thank you, Greg. We went down to the, um, we went over to the polluted pond that we always go to and we actually caught a bunch of tadpoles, a bunch of crawfish, some sunfish, and we actually stuck them in there and they're doing awesome. The tadpoles have already grown into basically frogs. So I'll get some footage of that. It's hard to see in here. Thank you, that, that should be enough. That's perfect, thank you, bud. So they are in there, um, you can't see it, but in the morning and in the, when the sun's out, it's really cool, they all just kind of sit at the top and float, um, but they are basically almost full grown. They are almost full grown frogs now, which is really cool. So I'm gonna go inside, put this in. Um, quick story of the hornwort, of how we got that. I'm gonna take you over to that clip before we go inside of where we got all this hornwort, because it's a pretty cool story. Just got in from work and had a special delivery at our front steps from our friends over at Pondering Creations. Liza, thank you so much. This is gonna be amazing. So you guys wanna see what this is? It is an entire trash bag full, look at this, of, it's basically hornwort, but a little bit uh, hardier. So it's called foxtail. I'm so ecstatic right now. So we're gonna use it in the pool pond. We're gonna use it in all the tanks inside. Liza, amazing. Pondering Creations, you guys are the best. Thank you. There he is, swimming around doing great. So I'm gonna put this hornwort right in here. Really cool stuff, guys. I, I talk about it all the time, but hornwort is awesome. It's a natural, natural oxygenator. It's a natural oxygenator. Oxygenizer. Um, hornwort is awesome though, guys. I use it in all of my tanks that I can. It just kind of grows on its own. You don't need to hook it to anything, but it will usually wrap around the filters, uh, or usually around like the intake tubes, and it helps filter out everything. And some of the fish like to eat it, but I've noticed a lot that the arowana at the store was swimming in and out of a bunch of plants. So I figured I'd put it in here. You can use it for some natural cover. Um, the barracuda will like it as well. How can you not like chickens? These things are so cool. 
Hope you guys liked that footage, really cool. Again, we have so much more to come with the new arowana because that is just i'm so excited about that but guys so much other stuff to come we got to get all the monsters out and inside very soon i don't want to wait till the last minute like last year uh it was too cold it just wasn't it wasn't right and having to rush like that and again we're doing a huge new pond so make sure you stay tuned for that um this episode's good vibe shout out goes out to dan's aquarium said looks fantastic keep up the great work Dan, thank you, man. We are doing the best that we can. We love it. We have a lot of fun, and uh, we're learning a ton right now. Um, oh, I didn't tell them the, what we were doing with the AutoCats. I never did. We mentioned it. So, big news with the AutoCats. I'm assuming a lot of you out there know AutoCats are just amazing. They're some of my favorite fish. They do great work cleaning, and because they're so small, you can keep tons of them in the aquarium. They're very hard to come by right now. I went to three different stores today. Not one of them had them, and one of them said they've been trying for two months and can't get them. So, they are very hard fish to breed. We are going to try. No, we're going to succeed. We are going to breed AutoCats, so we're going to set up the uh, one of our tanks downstairs we're going to set it all up for them it's going to be just for auto cats and we're going to try and breed them so make sure you stay tuned if by any chance any of you have ever bred auto cats out there please reach out let me know here yeah, george um let me know give me any advice give it to clover good job um give me any advice you have <laughs> look watch <laughs> isn't that funny all right guys as always Billings fam peace Clover <laughs> subscribe below look at this guy he wants to get they always come over to us we are walking to PetSmart very, very small fish excellent guys Fred is in great shape Woo! Clover say hi is doing so much better underneath